Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel as Pizza Makeover. Today I'm joined by the best friends, guys. We're gonna be checking out Brit Long Live the Motherland Nesfe Vata Sagusson. This was highly recommended by my viewers, and we said we should give this a try. So, guys, without further ado, let's, let's get started. Lojmanda çok fazla tutmayacaklar. Niye? Öldür! Anam baba ne yaptı mı? Evet komutanım. İyi. Cenazeni ona göndeririz. Sen! Akranı takar Hatay Emret komutanım! Öldür sen Hataylı! Sen! Ömer Çetin bandırma Emret komutanım! Ömer Çetin! Öldür! Sen! Tutkudu mangiresin Emret komutanım! Veraseti kime verdin oğlum? Babamı komutanım! İyi! Çok iyi! Cenazeni babana veririz! Sen beni kokuş İstanbul Emret komutanım İstanbullu öldü sen Sevgilin var mı İstanbullu? Var komutanım Yok artık Hayırlısı ise başka biriyle evlenecek artık Öldün oğlum sen öldün This is very serious Annenizin gözü Extremely serious like These guys are giving everything for the country guys They are sacrificing their entire life they are not being appreciated enough guys they are not being appreciated enough because you and i know you can't go to war and you can't sacrifice your life for anyone so these guys who have dedicated their life to give their life for that country for you for their own family like we need to appreciate them all when they are dead people don't value them more that they ought to be appreciated for me because uh, uh, they're not like celebrities like yeah. celebrities die today they're trended but these soldiers die oh it's one of them even since about war, you even hardly see post about it. Yeah. When things are going on down there. It's just be down, down, down, down. You hardly see um, the bloggers carrying it. This is totally not fair because these guys are giving everything. They say they're going to send a dead body back home, guys. That dead body, that telling their streets you are going to die. You know what that means? Like if someone tell me this now, I say I'm not going to war anymore. Because it's. it's that is exactly what I was saying like, because why would I want to risk my life like that? This oh. no wonder they always come back with PTSD. Like this is very yeah. traumatic, guys. These guys are giving everything. Everything, guys. Everything. Wow. It's never easy. It's never easy. And I also feel for their family also, knowing fully yeah. well that where your husband, your children are going to it's very dangerous. You might come back or you possibility might not come that back. they won't come back. Yeah. That's fear. You thinking about it every day if it's going to be the military that's going to come to your door telling you that your husband or your son is dead. It's it eats them up every day, the worry they really? get. Let's keep watching guys and see how it ends. <laughs> Komşularınızın kolları arasında Bileklerini oluyorlar kolonyayla Evladım diye ağlıyor Evimin direği diye ağlıyor Babanız da ağlıyor Göstermiyor kimse ama Geçmiş bir köşeye içine içine ağlıyor adam Ama ağzında bir cümle Tek bir cümle Vatan sağ olsun Memleket sağ olsun. Bir oğlum daha olsa onu da gönderirim diyor. Memleket sağ olsun diye ağlıyor anne. Bastılar karakolu. Hepinizi aldılar. Gönderdik cenazeleri ailelerinize. Kurşun izlerinizi silerler. Kanınızı temizlerler, yıkarlar bir güzel. Bir güzel de bayrağı tabutunuzu sararlar. Öyle mi oldu Turgay? Evet bir üzgünüm komutan! Öyle oldu. Hayatta en çok değer verdiğim adam öyle öldü. Ama uyuduğu için değil. Bu 
buraya erken gelelim diye Koydular helikopteri Gönderdiler ailesine Sizi de öyle yapacaklar Sen İçin bulup Ankara Emre komutanım Kim taşıyacak yavrum fotoğrafını cenazende Kardeşin var mı Var komutanım İyi ona taşıtırlar Kaç yaşında 30 komutanım 30 yaşındaki adama resmini taşıtırsın Taputunu taşıtırsın 30 yaşındaki adama Baba sigara içiyor mu? İçmiyor komutanım. İçecek. Kanser olacak senin yüzünden. Televizyona bile çıkarsınız. Öyle oluyor değil mi şimdi? İki dakika. Ne iki dakikası? 45 saniyeliğine kahraman olursunuz. 45 saniyeliğine. Çıkar. Süslü püslü bir karı. Hüzünlü bir sesle anlatır. Ekim Bulut. Karakol baskınında şehit düştü. 45 saniye. Sonra da magazin haberleri. Kahramanca mı savaştınız? Ha? Öyle mi öldünüz? Hayır. Bu adam unutu diye öldünüz. Ananız babanız niye ağlıyor? Ha? Bu adam unutu diye. Kızmayın ona. Kızmayacaksınız. Kendinize kızın. Burası bir birlik. Bir meysel hareket edemezsin. Arkadaşın için hareket edeceksin. Uyusun diye uyumayacaksın. Ölmesin diye öleceksin. Uyurken ölmeyeceksin öyle. Uyursan ölürsün. Ölürsünüz. Sen uyursan ölürsün. Sen olursan ölürsün. Sen de olursun, sen de ölürsün. Uyursan az subayım. Uyursan ölürsün. Sen uyursan herkes ölür. Bak. Güçlüyüz, cesuruz, hazırız. Ne hazırsın? Uyurken ölme hazırsın. Uyumayacaksınız. Yemeyeceksiniz, dinlenmeyeceksiniz, sizin cesetlerinizi, sizin cenazelerinizi ailelerinize göndermeyeceğim. Ölmenizi yasaklıyorum. Anlaşıldı mı asker? Evet, Affettim arkadaşınızı. Birliğin düzeni bozulmasın diye. Beraber omuz omuza mevzilerde sabaha kadar nöbet tutun diye affediyorum. Ama biriniz Birinizi bir hata yaparken yürürsen Yemin ediyorum kendi elimle vurulup Altına da imza mı atarım ne ihtim zayiatı diye Anlaşalım asker Wow Wow I'm just realizing that It was just about correction. When you were saying that, um, what is your name? They would say you are dead. It was just correcting the other one that's fair asleep. Wow. This is a little bit of what this guy's passed through over there. There is no room for error. There is no room for error. You can't make mistake. It cost your life. Mm. These guys are going through a lot, guys. What a speech. He said, you won't sleep, you won't eat, you can't get tired. They're literally training a robot. That's what they're turning them to, guys. These guys, they're really passionate through a lot. This is what it means to be an army. When you hear the word amen, this is what it means. Like before you take that oath to be an amen, you got to watch this. This is what it takes, guys. Relentlessness. You got to have that courage, that mind, guys. It's not everyone who can who can stand up like this. Even the the, the captain, he's is really pained. Like he says, someone who who really care about die because the person sleep. 
a little rest you are dead you got to keep your eyes watching guys this i wanted to stop this video and not watch again because this was getting really intense guys i was really touched by this it's so emotional guys it's really really emotional and after the speech like this guy come this guy's come to the real world and someone to talk nonsense to them like you don't know what they have been through so when you see them correcting you in some manner people be like they are very disrespectful about that. yeah but you don't know what they have been through so these guys are really passing through a lot guys this is just a little piece of what they're what they're going through and the video is still you know there's not the ending yeah there's not the ending so you can't imagine what this man is going to say to them this is a big motivation and I give these guys much respect guys they're really doing a lot for us they're doing a lot for us and I, I appreciate that they translated it to English and I was in subtitles so I was able to understand it better this is amazing this this is touching this is heartbreaking I said they're going to send your casket to your family wrap it with the flag that's it so whenever I catch you sleeping or doing something that's not your duty is going to shoot you himself his wish is not to send your corpse back to your parents but if you let him do it he's going to send it like what speech damn you put the motherland first before you say ah, this is this is mind blowing guys I'm really touched by this wow I feel all the captain is trying to do is making sure he takes his team back home yeah he's just motivating them in the best way he can to make sure that they all stay alive and they go back home together he said if you're to die it's just going to be a 45 seconds money they'll mourn yeah. for you on the news you see a lady with a sad tone and she's just going to call your name and say you died and right after that a celebrity post and that's literally what happened so wherever you are whatsoever you're doing be it in the military or in, where people are doing different things i just feel do it 100 percent don't feel i'll do it tomorrow don't relax don't let your guard down because at that point in time anything can happen so i just feel we should all be strong we should all be courageous we should all fight don't let your guard down because I feel that's why um, the captain was very upset here. He wanted them to be resilient. He wanted them to be at this point where they are ready for anything at any time because you don't know where your enemies will strike. So you don't need to let your guard down. You don't need to relax. You don't need to rest. You need to be agile. You need to be ready to take them down. When you go back home, then you can rest, then you can sleep. But yeah. This is a life or death situation. This is a dangerous zone and you need to be ready at all time. And wow, it's not easy. It's never an easy thing to do. Just knowing that your enemies can strike at any time, having that faith, having that courage, it's not easy. So I, I really do appreciate his speech. He took his time to lecture his crew, to make them know that this is a life a dead situation exactly so guys thank you so much for recommending this video for us i always appreciate people in the military they sacrifice their life every day to make sure we are safe and wow it's it's not something easy to do please do let us know what you think about our reactions please make sure to like subscribe and share our videos we'll see you on the next one